Last week on Business Destination Joburg, we were joined in studio by the MMC for Development Planning, where we discussed the rejuvenation of the inner city. Part of that strategy includes establishing public-private partnerships. Now, the Trust for Urban Housing Finance, known as TUF, has made investments to date in the inner city, and they currently assist in financing entrepreneurs looking to purchase and convert buildings into low-cost housing for residents in the city. Well, we caught up with one such entrepreneur to find out how she is making a difference right in the heart of Hillbrow. Sizakele Majola is an inner city property entrepreneur. With the assistance of TUF, a local financial institution, she bought a small apartment building in the heart of Hillbrow. The building, Minfield Flats, had been virtually hijacked and was in a dreadful condition with rubbish filling its passages and exposed live electrical cables posing a real danger to the people living there. Give us the full picture of the state in which you found this building. Having stayed in Yorville for a while, this I used to use Hillbro as my road to go to work. So one day when I was passing and I spotted this building and the state that it was in, it was full of filth. You know, the drainage system was totally not working. And uh, when I came in, because I, I, I spoke to the then caretaker, he showed me what the living uh, arrangement was. You could find apparently about six adults, you know, with a few kids living in one of the rooms. All of the rooms were like that. And also the owner was nowhere to be found. So because of the state, apparently, according to the guy, the owner had not been taking care of the building, which is why it had come to such state where if you come in, you'll just see sewer spewing over, you know, within the yard itself. The toilets, the toilets were blocked and nobody was taking care of it. It was simply because people just refused to pay for a service that they were not getting. So that led to that bad state of the building. And also, it was known to be, you know, a crime-filled building. So every time somebody does commit a crime on the streets, they'll be running behind the flat and then jump over the fence and then disappear with somebody's you know, possessions. So for me, I felt like I needed to do something to make that better. Sisa, what inspired you to make this investment in Hillbra in particular, which is known to be a haven for criminals? Um, look, I've lived in Yeovil for a while and I saw the need for proper accommodation. A lot of people, they need uh, accommodation that is accessible to transport. Bear in mind that people are working in restaurants and, you know, they need to, to knock off around 12 a.m. in the morning. So they, 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 they need a proper accommodation with access to transport. So when I made this investment, I had that in mind. I wanted to help these guys make sure that they get a, a clean, proper home. Tell us more about the role that TUF plays in assisting you to acquire this building? My goodness, I would say that TUF is a blessing to any entrepreneur like me. I mean, I'm a small person who doesn't even earn that much, but a company like TUF that wants to take a, a chance on a place like Hillbro, bear in mind that your bank doesn't want to touch Hillbro because they see it as a gray area and it's apparently very dangerous. So TUF are the only players at the moment that are willing to take that chance. They took a chance on me, not even having that much equity to support. But, you know, I, they, I did that successfully and with their help. Caesar, are you satisfied that you're now receiving a healthy rate of return on your investment? If you get finance from TUF, they do a feasibility study for you to make sure that you don't go into something that you are not ready for. So once you make an investment, you get to yield a little bit of return after having taken care of everything. So for me, yes, this building is definitely yielding returns. I'm very happy I made this, uh, this investment because Hillbro is an area known for being extremely busy and you can never run short of tenants. Is it a headache to manage it? Is it a full-time job? How much of time do you need to spend here on site to manage this building? It definitely is a full-time job. If you want to succeed in this field, you need to be able to pitch up at 11 p.m. and check on your building. Because even though you've got people that you put in to actually work for you, you still need to make sure that these people don't bring in their own people to sort of make their own income, for example. They, there's no illegal things that goes down in your building while you're not there. So it is a full-time job for sure. What advice can you offer to other entrepreneurs who are perhaps considering an investment in Hillbrow but a bit skeptical because of the crime issue. What I would definitely tell whoever wants to invest in Hillbro, this is the time for you to come and invest in Hillbro. Hillbro, Hillbro is thriving at the moment. Every person that works is here. Every person that doesn't have a car and want access to public transport, these people are here. 
these people are desperate for a place to live. You need to be there and just, you know, give them what they need. And in terms of crime, I mean, crime is out there. We can't avoid it, but you just need to do whatever that is necessary for your building to make sure that it's safe for your tenants. And then everything else, you know, the cops will have to take care of. But it's definitely a good place to invest. Nishina Mohammed for Joburg Today.